I hope you can hear them chattering. So this is going to be a very special video, and I so to do that I brought along a little special guest. You can see him here. It's Piglet, guys. He's here to say hi. Anyways, this video, guys, is to commemorate my 10 years on YouTube. Uh, July 28th, 2006 is when I signed up for YouTube with JJ General One, guys. And uh, it's hard to believe that 10 years later that... Um, about a year ago, I just started uploading actual stuff, like content, to start getting an audience, and it's hard to believe that in one year, just, just short of one year, guys, since I really started uploading arcade stuff, that I've uh, gained almost 8,500 subscribers. I started with 20 at this time last year, guys. And I cannot believe how far it's grown. Um, I have a huge, huge thanks to give to Matt for that. Um, at least part of that. Um, some of the other channels that we've worked together, like Josh Bartley and Arcade Jackpot Pro, uh, Justin's channel. Um, what? Okay. So anyways guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my 10 years on YouTube and um, what, it, what it started out for me as and what uh, what I wanted to, to go. Right, so I've had my channel since July 28th, 2006, but I didn't upload my first video to it until May 28th, 2008. Um, and that video was actually a music video for my friend at the time who I was working for their band. Um, and right now it's listed as private. Um, it doesn't need to be out there. And in fact, a lot of my early videos are unlisted or as private guys because they're not, they don't fit into the arcade. He just yawned. Um, they don't fit into the arcade um, genre that I want the channel to go into. You know, what I, what I want the channel to become. So, it's okay. Sometimes he's camera shy, guys. Anyways, after that first video, after that first video, I, um, I uploaded a, what's known as a Firehouse Siren video. Um, it was at the fire hall that I belonged to at the time, and that was on November 28th, 2008, and that was my second video I had ever uploaded. Um, I, at that time, I had friends who recorded those uh, during emergency calls or tests, and uh, I thought that my channel would go towards that, honestly, because I started uploading different uh, sirens, house sirens from the fire halls um, in the area of where I lived. And I was like, oh, this could become something one day. And um, in fact, that first fire siren video that I uploaded was at 22,000 views as of last year. Um, it's now unlisted, like I said, so no one else can find it again. But it was my most watched video until my arcade video started coming out. And in fact, the ticket challenge number one for the gumball machine is now my most watched video. And I think it has almost 400,000 views. Um, so that is insane, guys. Like, that is crazy. Um, that's a ton of views. But basically, I signed up for YouTube, guys, to basically have somewhere to upload videos, anything that uh, I found interesting or uh, I found to be wanting to save as far as video files. So, huh? it's okay. Shh. So he's calm down now, guys. He's not as crazy. He's just sitting here. He's just sitting here. Look, see? There's Piggy. But anyways, guys, um, like I said, it's been a long 10 years. Uh, I didn't know where my channel was going to go uh, even, you know, eight years ago when I really first started uploading videos. I thought it was going to be chasing fire halls and flooding and thunderstorms and that kind of stuff. Um, I kind of got away from that when I got a little bit older. And uh, then I just started using YouTube to upload um, 
like funny clips, like uh, game show fails. Like I would see a, a screw up on a game show on like Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy, and I would rewind it and record it and then upload it just to there straight out. Um, that got kind of old. Plus, they claim copyright on it, so there's no, nothing to be made on that anyway. So even if you see a viral video of that stuff going, you know, crazy, the person's not making money on it. The the people who own Wheel of Fortune and that kind of stuff make the money on that. So, but uh, one of the biggest things that I have to talk about as far as my biggest inspiration for doing arcade videos was finding Matt's channel guys and then realizing that he was local to Pittsburgh to me and uh, meeting up with him and um, I always knew how to edit music guys. I always knew how to edit songs I could make mixes, um, and I always wanted to learn how to edit video. And so when I met up with Matt, I was asking him some questions, and he said, oh, you know, after a couple of meet and greets, he's like, oh, you're a regular, and he's like, uh, do you have any questions on anything? And I said, yeah, I said, you know, I, I want to try to figure out you know, what programs do you use, and, and uh, like, how do, how do you edit a video? Is it really hard? And he goes, no, it's not really hard, it just takes time. So... He invited me over his house, and uh, that was the first time I really got to sit down and talk to him. And um, he uh, he showed me his programs, how he edited. He actually edited a video uh, with me there. Uh, and then, what was it, like a couple weeks later, that video came out on his channel. And it was really interesting to see how it's done. And um, then he helped me with a couple of my videos, and then I started figuring out uh, how to do it on my own. Um, but obviously, my first couple videos for recording the uh, arcades were very crude. Were very um, I didn't know where to where to put the camera. I didn't know, and I did everything on my iPhone, guys. Like I, all my shooting, I did on my iPhone. Now I have this Canon camera, and I shoot everything mostly on that. Sometimes on my phone still, um, but. Once I actually learned how to start cutting things out and editing and adding background music and spicing things up and editing pictures and doing things that um, snazz up the video a little bit, you you will notice like my now videos have a lot more uh, more pizzazz to them than my early videos. Like my early videos just had the title, me playing, credits. Like that was it. There was no music. There was nothing like that. Um, it was it was really hard, very crude. Um, but I think in the last year, I've learned a lot on uh, what works, what doesn't work, um, and adding like you know. So there's no dead silence uh, to videos because that's usually a big killer if there's silence in the videos. And so I mean, I, I, if you take a look at some of my first videos, especially the ones I shot vertical on my phone. Um, Compared to now, uh, I've definitely learned a lot, and uh, you know, in this year, and I, I just, I can hope to continue growing, um, and leading to that <clears throat> leads to my next part. Let me go put him away, and I'll be right back. Say hi. Okay, Bob. Oh, you chirping. Alright guys, now that Piggy is put away, because I uh, can't have him out of cage too long. Usually like 10 minutes is, is long enough. And uh, then he has to go to the bathroom. Um, but leading up to my channel growing, I'm closing in on 10,000 subscribers, guys. Um, Alright guys, it is July 28th and I am at 8,257 subscribers at the time of this recording. Uh, I'm sure it's a little bit higher by the time you're watching this. But I have a challenge for you guys. Um, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away... ...an iPod Touch. It is a 16 gigabyte black iPod Touch, guys. That's for my 10,000 subscribers. Now, here's the thing. If I hit 10,000 subscribers before my birthday, which is September 19th, 
I will not just give away one. I will give away two iPod Touches. 16 gigabyte black. There you go, guys. Two of them right there. So that is my challenge. Um, if we don't hit the 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, I'm just going to give away one. Um, so this is your challenge on you guys. Uh, it ups your, uh, it doubles your chances to win. And um, that contest will be uh, announced whenever I do hit 10,000 subscribers. But what I need you guys to do is I need you to like. I need you to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit this big red button down here. And I need you to hit that little like weird Y icon down here in the middle that says share. Share these videos, guys, to your all my videos. If you can, share my channel to your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever. All the social media platforms. That helps get my face out there. Um, I would like to hit 10,000 by my birthday, guys, because I want to give away both of these iPod Touches. I don't want to be just one. Um, so there you go, guys. That is the challenge. Get me to 10,000 subscribers. And I will give away two. Right here, just like that. Now I have a long term challenge, guys, um, as well. 100,000 subscribers by 2018. January 1st, 2018. If we hit. <laughs> if we hit 100,000 subscribers, guys, I will get a tattoo like this. And that tattoo will go on my arm. Or this arm. It doesn't matter. I will get the tattoo of the YouTube Play logo. If I hit 100,000 subscribers by January 1st, 2018. That is one year and six months away, five months away, something like that. That is one year and five months away, guys. So let's see if we can do that. Um, it's realistic. It is possible. I've seen other channels grow by 100,000 subscribers in two months. Um, I'd like to try to hit that, and I will do that tattoo challenge, guys. So it's crazy. I know it's out there. It's out there in land and in video land now. So, don't forget guys, 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, two iPod Touches, 100,000, which is September 19th, so let me say that again, two iPod Touches by September 19th, my birthday of this year, 2016, I'll be 33 by the way, um, and also the 100,000 subscriber challenge by January 1st, 2018. I will get a YouTube Play logo tattooed on my arms. One of the arms. So that is the challenge, guys, to you. Uh, see if you want me to do something crazy. Um, maybe you guys can come up with an idea for maybe something higher than that for the higher subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting it out there. I want you guys to be entertained. Um, I want you guys to enjoy my channel, but I also am asking you to share, to like over here, click that like, click that share, and click that red subscribe. Thank you so much guys, uh, here's hoping to 10,000, here's hoping to 100,000 one day, and uh, here's hoping to 10 more years on YouTube guys, and maybe more. Thanks for watching, and like I always say, I'll catch you guys next time.